This is Billy Boy on radio station HCM GB. The topic of the day is museums in Sheffield, and our special guest, who is our expert of the day, is the young historian in training, Sam Jolton. Weston House was a private building where it was turned into a museum by the architect E.M. Diffs, which is to the Weston Park Museum. It was opened to the public by first curator E.J. Howard in 1875. Since the late 1880s, the museum to Weston has changed over the years, and some of the current essays are the Arctic Zone, which has the iconic polar bear, National Earth, which has tons of local and foreign wildlife, and the Seal City, which has the old buses shop that sees the scene of other essays changes. Touring to the Seville Museum, the Central Library and the Dreyse Dowry were opened to the public in July 1934. The building was partially funded by a wealthy businessman called John George Dreyse, who donated nearly 700 paintings to the Seville Dresden. Some of the exhibits highlights over the years are in truth William V. Leonardo da Vinci. And turning to the Central Museum, the Museum Central was created in 1998 as an independent charity to take over the running of the city's non industrial museums. And now he's the American Dowry were open in 2001 due to the several art of the city for her. The artist Donny Wright traced the barking of the wrong tree of Silver as it made out of seal forks, knives, and spoons that were made in Seville. So the Silver residence of Seville is famous for. Some of the current episodes are the Rustin Dresden, the Meadowworth Dresden, which will always be there, and the meeting of Rustin, Chihiri, and Trashmanse and the precious Will Jams Dresden will be done by September 2016. and I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do after uni yeah. and I think I'd like to go into something to do with museums or archiving yeah. so I thought that it would be a good place to start yeah, yeah. to get some experience. Yeah. I think the museum is a great place because it's somewhere where there's something for anybody um, no matter who you are, no matter what your interests are you can dip in and out because it's free and there's always something to see and something to yeah. do. Uh, I really like the Millennium Gallery because like, I'm not from Sheffield, yeah. I'm from Hull, oh. so it was good to see kind of like the heritage of the city, yeah. which I didn't really know much about, yeah. so obviously they've got all the stuff about steel and things, mm. yeah. and cutlery, yeah. so that was, that's probably my favourite part. Yeah. Well, it turns out the exhibitions are. Sometimes we get them in from other places and yeah. then they provide everything for us. Mm -hmm. But, for example, the recent um, Secret Egypt exhibition that we had, we also provided some materials for that. Yeah. Um, we have curators and they do research. And so they read around the subject, look what we've got, see if we've got... It, quite often it's only things from our own collection, so we'll get all the things out of our collection that are relevant to that exhibit and then we'll put it out. Um, they go to our store... Um, and look for the objects there. It's all catalogued so they can just look up a subject and yeah. find out what the objects are, then they can build the exhibition mm -hmm. around yeah. it. Um, or as I say, sometimes we, we get the exhibition in from outside. Now, we live in a life where we don't, we glance, we don't stop and look at things anymore. So I think the museums have a role in mindfulness, for want of a better term, uh, as well. Uh, and uh, just to spark conversation, 
to make people uh, think about meaning and talk with each other and not just across each other. Um, that's important as well. Mm. It's obviously a, like an important part of the community yeah. to have somewhere where people can come and learn. Yeah. And it's like more interactive and interesting yeah. than just sitting in a classroom. Yeah. And a sense of Sheffield identity. So, you know, this, this city and, and its, its industries. Yeah. I need to get out of here now. So the portal needs to be recharged before you can use it. Just tell me when I can use it. And uh, sir, you need to get into cover while the portal recharges. I'll deal with the bounty hunter while you open the portal. So the portal is at 50%. A bit busy at the moment. It's at 100%. Do you want to open it now? Open it now before I die. Thank <laughs> you.